My name's Ben and welcome to Angry Few. Today you join me at the wonderful Alders Pond at the fantastic Oats Lakes fishery. And uh, today what we're going to be doing is shallow fishing for ride. And uh, as you can see there, straight on the feed, which is no surprise. And uh, the eyed go to quite a good stamp in uh, in, uh, in uh, Oaks and especially in uh, Alders. It's, it's one of the... Uh, the old, older um, ponds that are at Oaks. Once I can just sort this, calm this uh, fish down. I'll uh, get him when hooked and show you. But he's uh, such. Try and hold him up for you. That's uh, that's only a small one of the stamp that they uh, that they go into here. There's uh, serious, some serious size ones in in here. And I'll, uh, I'll just flick out a few few more maggots we'll bring the rig and um, we'll have a little chat about it now f1 fishing when you're fishing shallow or big carp fishing obviously most of the times using pellets um, f1s as well if, if you're catching f1s caster sometimes you can catch them on maggots um, but I'll go through the rig because it's it's a little bit different when obviously you're fishing with a lot of time the uh, the F1s or um, the carp, you tend to have a bulk which you can flick over and makes a plop noise and obviously that's what uh, attracts the fish uh, to making it think it's a pellet or a, uh, a piece of um, caster or anything like that. But what we're doing is we're having a strung out bulk because we want a, search, a searching rig because we want it to go through the water and I'll go, th I'll go through that with you. So we're starting with the elastic. It's uh, hybrid fusion. Um, it's the smallest one. I think it's a five to eight. It's quite a, a small one, but we don't want anything um, that's heavy. We want them to swim out to swim. Got a 0.3 uh, chimp style float, short, short, nice thick bristle, but short body. Uh, and there's a little bulk of number 10s underneath it. And then really running through there, I'd say three inches, three inches, three inches, three inches all the way down um, with number 10s to a KKMB size 18 and the reason we have that shirt button pattern is we want this th uh, slow fall through the water so then the fish can intercept it just as that one did um, on the way down so it, the, the, the way you flick it over and the rig hits the water flat and it'll drop nice and gradual through the water I only use one single maggot and uh, when I feed it, I'm feeding quite frequently, but uh, as a greedy fish, but I want this searching rig. So we're not actually shallow in regards to the depth is set to the just off bottom. And I want it to search all the way through. If it's shallow, they'll pick it up as it goes down. If we, if we, if we do get any stats, get any um, foul lookers or anything like that, or miss bites, then we will shallow up the rig. But at the moment, we want it to search all the way down through those layers right down to the bottom um, and sometimes the bigger fish hide under at the bottom so I like to let it fall down through there and see if we can pick that fish up at a different depth rather than just having it shallow uh, obviously it's cold um, it's mid-October um, but it, um, the eyed obviously love this kind of temperature and uh, probably around 8 metres or so out and so you just lay that rig in there and it'll search the water through the whole depth as you can see there's a few fish swirl behind it but they'll follow it out and there you go straight away on that elastic no bite needed straight onto onto the elastic that's why we, that's why we have this uh, this light elastic and they're straight on it and that and that's on that searching rig so even though we saw swirls behind it of them coming up shallow 
that fish followed followed it down and um, it either followed it down or it was sat below that feed column and when you do that you protect you potentially um missing out the smaller fish and you end up getting the bigger stamp fish like this bad boy and that's what you want and they go up to at least a three pound well over three pound mark in here and uh, fishing that one maggot as well gives you just a direct contact there's not not two baits you're not you're not missing any of the hook point or anything like that you're looking for that impact bite straight away and if you notice so when you hit the water if, if you're fishing super shallow you will catch um, you will catch them um, but they tend to be the smaller ones because they're a bit more energetic and a bit more crazy and if, the, if that's what the fishing needs that day then that's what you, you'll have to shallow up but I tend to develop my eyed fishing to have that rig set probably half an inch off bottom with that string bolt to create those bites um, and not catch them so that that feeds going and I just lay the rig out and that falls slowly and usually that fish will take it on the drop just before it gets uh, past bottom if not then I will flick it over and then I will put a little bit of feed in there see see it's just set the, the tip so it's just set I'll give it a couple of seconds I've got a little tail tail sign there and I'll just lay it back out so you notice I'm not flicking the rig over as you would do normally uh, when you're shallow fishing I'm just laying that that rig on top of the water flicking it out and laying it on top so next set of feed in there lay that rig on top of the water and again so we are creating the sound but we're not having you can flick it over if you want it's the end of the world I, I, I just like that that sort of way it falls you want to be sort of feeding there we go that's a little one that time um, you want to be feeding sort of around the eight maggots that either are very very greedy fish and they'll eat a lot of bait it's a nice little roach this time uh, either are really um, greedy fish they'll eat a lot of bait um, you need to keep that feed going and to keep them there um, and they love maggots they love casters I can see him swirl it may be that we change it uh, for a shout to, uh, up slightly shallower but we'll just keep seeing and see if those bigger fish are sat below I've had two good fish that are, are, are sat that took it further down in the water but it may be that we that we have to uh, accept that they're slightly shallower and come up shallow we'll keep that we'll keep that pattern but we'll come up a little bit and sometimes that the more you feed the more those those fish will will go so we're starting to pick up those smaller fish now so what we'll do is we'll go a little bit shallower so we'll probably take it down around 10 inches to that first uh, shot just slide that down take that bait so now we're coming up to sort of mid water so mid to lower water column and it's all about finding where they are and you, you don't want it to be the odd fish it wants to try and be where the consistent catch is so drop that on top of that there and you'll usually find a good column of water they will move about like F1s do Again, there's a couple of smaller fish. We just have to keep feeding, keep feeding, and get those eyed, eyed competing. There we go. It's another eyed. And especially doing this, doing this as well, you've always got a chance of hooking an F1 or a carp. 
I'm hoping this is a good hide because there is some really good hide in here. Oh yeah, it's a nice, nice hide. Not, not any bigger than the the last two that we got, but definitely a nice fish. And you can amass such a good, a good weight of fish, um, cap, catching like this. Easy tiger. Just makes for such a a fun day. And again, the, the nice, the nice size, the beautiful size fish. I mean, you wouldn't, you, you're not going to be unhappy catching them all day. Let's get him back. It's like another half decent hide. You see this? Oh, that is a nice one. That one. And you see this lovely elastic doing its job. This is a, this is a good hide. This one. This is what this is what we came for. These are these are the fish that we came for. Absolute stunners these are. I'll just get the this hook out. And uh might need, might need a little bit of tweezer action. Just in the corner of the mouth. Let's have a look. Right, so when I said to you there's some nice idea, these are the kind of eyed that you come here for. I mean, now that is a beautiful fish. And as soon as you get those kind of fish going constantly, you'll have a fantastic day. Let's hope there's some more of that shallow and we can have some more of them. Like another, another nice head to finish on. Oh, beautiful in the top lip. Lovely, lovely, lovely stamp fish. So, guys, uh, well, this has uh, been up for video to you. Can you can see it's, uh, it's a great, fun, but active method to try out, even when it's when more when the carp go to sleep and, you know, you can still have good fun catching these fish on, on light elastics and light gear. And, uh, you know, we're only fishing on uh, 013 Gen Pro, so it's, it's, not, it's not thick line. And, you know, it's, uh, it's nice just to get out and catch silvers for once instead of, uh, instead of catching carp, although we all love that. Um, but join us on the Facebook book group, Angling For You. Join us on the Instagram, for angl uh, Angling Underscore For You. Like and subscribe, guys. Share with your friends. Thanks a lot. Tight lines.